Okay, 9SC2 of Grange, what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the magic trick that's been used. So first what you're going to do is draw a cross as such on a plain white piece of paper, like so. It's a nice faint cross using pencil. Then you're going to get your conical flask, place the conical flask on top of the cross as such, and then pick up your sodium thiosulfate. Should be labeled sodium thiosulfate. What you're going to do is get a measure out using a measuring cylinder. But first, before we do this, we think about safety. So I have my goggles on. Also, if any of these liquids, the sodium thiosulfate or the hydrochloric acid, spill on my hands, I'm going to straight away wash them in the sink. So what we're going to do, we're going to pour out 40 milliliters of sodium thiosulfate into the measuring cylinder. Make sure when you're reading it, your eye level, you check in. To see if it's hit the mark, I need a bit more in there. Like such. That there is now 40 milliliters. Put the cap back onto the bottle, put the bottle to the side. Pour out the sodium thiosulfate into the conical flask, as such. Then put measuring cylinder to the side. Then you can do the same thing but using the hydrochloric acid. Different concentrations. This one I'm using here is 1.5 molar. You can have five different concentrations. You're going to pour out the hydrochloric acid like we did the thiosulfate into the measuring cylinder and measure out 40 milliliters again. So both times it's going to be 40 milliliters. You're going to read it, make sure it's at the 40. Yep, that's exactly 40. And then you're going to pour it. Make sure you have a stopwatch in one hand and pour the hydrochloric acid on top and start the stopwatch at the same time. Then when you read it, you're going to have a look from the top and keep checking to see when the cross magically disappears. You're going to record the time it takes for the cross to disappear. Then record this time as your time of the reaction. Good luck, guys.